At the 2025 Avalon Air Show, Enduro unveiled a full-scale version of its cutting-edge Fury drone, marking its first international presentation. This move comes as part of Enduro's strategy to secure Australia's interest in its autonomous combat aircraft program. Australia's military has already committed significant resources to Boeing's MQ-28 Ghost Bat, a domestically developed drone that operates in tandem with manned fighter jets as a loyal wingman. David Goodrich, CEO of Enduro Australia, confirmed that the company is undergoing an evaluation process with the Royal Australian Air Force. While the final decision hinges on government approval, no specific timeline has been provided. Enduro's ambitions stretch beyond Australia, with the company also eyeing the broader Indo-Pacific region. Notably, a collaboration with Singapore's Defence Science and Technology Agency, DSTA, and the Republic of Singapore Air Force indicates regional interest in the autonomous capabilities of Fury. The Fury drone, designed as a versatile, reusable platform, excels in a wide range of missions, including air support, surveillance, and electronic warfare. Its advanced design integrates lattice software for mission autonomy, allowing seamless operations alongside both manned and unmanned aircraft. The drone's modular architecture supports quick adjustments to sensors and payloads, enhancing its adaptability for various mission profiles. Powered by a commercial jet engine, Fury delivers fighter-like performance with extended operational endurance, all while maintaining low operational costs. With impressive capabilities like speeds of up to Mach 0.95 and the ability to endure 9G acceleration, Fury is built for high-maneuverability combat in contested environments. Its open architecture facilitates easy integration of third-party sensors and weapons, making it adaptable to evolving threats. The drone's rapid prototyping and digital engineering approach promises faster production timelines, offering a cost-effective solution for scalable drone fleets. Goodrich also hinted that Enduro would consider manufacturing Fury in Australia if selected by the Australian government, potentially strengthening local industry involvement while introducing advanced foreign technology. This proposition is likely to influence discussions on how to balance domestic production with international procurement. In contrast, Australia has already invested 600 million Australian dollars in Boeing's MQ-28 Ghost Bat, which also includes funding for upgraded units. Malcolm Davis, a defence analyst at the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, ASPI, pointed out that Fury's cost efficiency could exert pressure on Boeing, particularly since it utilises commercial off-the-shelf technology. This sets it apart from the Ghost Bat, which was specifically developed to meet Australia's defence requirements. On the global stage, Fury is also vying for a spot in the U.S. Air Force's Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA, program, which aims to create autonomous aircraft that complement next-generation fighter jets. The CCA program is seen as a key countermeasure against the growing threat of Chinese air forces. Fury's upcoming debut flight in the United States is part of its participation in this initiative, where it will compete against a model from General Atomics Aeronautical Systems. While Boeing downplays the threat of Fury, noting that the Ghost Bat has already completed extensive testing, General Atomics has emphasized its focus on expanding its market in the Indo-Pacific rather than directly competing with the Ghost Bat. The company's manufacturing capacity, which could produce up to 200 aircraft annually without significant expansion, stands in contrast to Enduro's relatively small production scale. Enduro's interest in Australia aligns with a broader defence cooperation strategy between the US and Australia, as both countries look to enhance their military capabilities through the adoption of autonomous drones. With the potential for drones from the CCA program to be available for export via the Foreign Military Sales FMS, system, Australia could eventually acquire the Fury drone. In comparison, the MQ-28 Ghost Bat, which made its first appearance at the Avalon Air Show in 2023, focuses on surveillance and reconnaissance, with its strike capabilities still uncertain. While Enduro has not confirmed whether local production of the Fury drone in Australia is a serious consideration, the company is setting up a significant manufacturing facility in Ohio, where it will produce various systems, including the Fury drone. 
As competition in the autonomous combat drone sector heats up, Australia may adopt a hybrid strategy, balancing its national drone development with consideration of alternatives like Fury. Enduro's participation at the Avalon Air Show represents a key moment in its push to position itself as a major player in the global autonomous aircraft market.